back in bed because you are not strong Shut up. enough. I'm leaving. I'm going back to my wife and son, but not before I make you pay for what you have done to us. It was an accident. Yes. You wanted to kill Steffi, the mother of my son, the love of my life. You should be dead, not my real mother. Someone should have put a bullet in your head that night, but since they didn't, it's up to me to take matters into my own hands. Finn is fed up with Sheila. Look at the rage on his face. He is showing her that he can be just as volatile as she is. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. We have a lot to break down today in these scenes. Finn fought back. He was fed up and he was letting it be known. And I have some ideas on the Bill and Liz scenes that I want to hear your take on. Let's get into it. To make sure justice is served, Sheila. Oh. laugh at her when she did that little shudder like it killed her so much to sedate him sheila is and always will be out to look out for number one first but if she had not had that syringe finn was going to choke her severely and possibly kill her he was that upset with her at this point so this started with him talking about she killed his mother and from there he got really really worked up and decided that he was going to get out of there and he was going to make her pay for everything that she had done way does this guy wind up in a slam don't you dare bring the police to my doorstep michael i swear it Okay, it's really starting to look like Sheila has met her match with her own child, of course. So Mike shows up to tell her that the cops were on him and Brooke and Ridge was there also interrogating him. Sheila gets upset because why would you come straight to her after the cops were interrogating you, which really didn't make any sense if you think about it, but he claims that no one followed him. So he tries to wake Finn up after she tells him that he let Finn, she let Finn know that she killed Lee. And he wants to know if she harpooned him again, AKA giving him the sedative. So Finn is hearing them. You see him open his eyes, but he pretends to be asleep still. And then after Mike leaves and Sheila walks in, he uh, surprises her like that. So I think he is really wearing her down as he gets stronger. And I don't know how much longer, because that sedative only put him out for a few minutes. So I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to control him, which may be why she ends up letting him free. We shall see. Of course she's struggling, man. She lost Finn. She was everything to her. She loved Finn so much. Um, yes, sir, yes, sir. I gotta go. What is it? What's upsetting you? Let me help you. So Bill calls Dr. Armstrong to check Lee out. Um, he's been on their guest spotting a few other times. He's been Katie's doctor in the past with the kidney issue. And I think Thomas is when he fell over the cliff. And he's played on numerous other soap operas in the past. So he checks her out, says that there's definitely trauma there. He does see glass in her hair. So maybe she was in a car accident. When he leaves, Bill gets a call from Liam and Lee hears him say Steffi and Finn, and that triggers. So it seems like maybe she did not have full memory at first, but hearing the names Steffi and Finn triggered a memory for her. So this makes me wonder, and this is what I really want to hear your take on in the comments. Do you think that all the rumors lately about Bill and Lee being a couple was a red herring, and the real reason they had Bill discover her was to put her in the vicinity of Bill so that she could overhear the conversation about Steffi and Finn. And that served as a plot point for her to regain her memory. Drop down in the comments, let me, let me know your thoughts. Do you think the rumors about Bill and Lee being a couple are true or was it just a red herring and really Bill discovered her just so she could remember Finn? 
If it's your son, you, you just have to tell me something about him. What, where is he? is he? Is he worried about you? Does he have any idea what happened? I, I will bring him to you. You have to tell me who he is. What is your son's name? So it's very interesting. For some reason, Lee is not able to get her words out and vocalize what she wants to say. It does seem that she remembers Finn, but she cannot tell um, Bill at this point. And the doctor didn't really do that thorough of a checkout of her. He did say that he could do more testing if she came to the hospital. But of course, she does not want to do that. I'm still finding it hard to believe that Bill has never met Lee. I mean, even though she's not cleaned up and he could let her get cleaned up. Side note, did anybody cringe a little bit when he gave her that sandwich and you could see her dirty hands go? I was like, can she at least wash her hands up or something? But I find it odd that he has never met her before or does not know what she looks like. But those were the major storylines for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on if you think the Bill Lee romance was a red herring or if we're actually going to get that. And what do you think about Finn acting full of Sheila and uh, showing her that he's not one to be played with? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.